I'm back. Um, okay, today I'm going to start off by doing a review of Remade Season 1 Episode 3. Okay, now, um, you might remember I reviewed the first book in the series. You can check that out right there in case you missed it. Um, and I wasn't exactly blown away by the first book. Okay. Um, basically, the this is a series of shorts. Okay, it's published by Serial Box, and there are fifteen episodes in the season. Okay. Now, um, I got copies of a lot of the books from the series by Net Galley. Okay, I got the first one, um, which, like I said, I wasn't blown away. I I was expecting a lot from this series um, because the actual series description was really like gripping. Um, you know, these teenagers who die and get remade and there was this whole, it sounded awesome. Um, and then book one was okay. It's a bit confusing in places and things. Didn't really convince me fully about the series. It did pique a little bit of curiosity to, to read the other books that I'd been sent. Because at that point I'd been sent books three and four as well. So I got one, three and four from the publisher. And I was like, okay, it's enough that I'm going to read three and four. Um, not enough that I'm going to buy book two, though. Okay, now, that would have been a completely different story had the first book in the series been episode three. Um, episode three did a much better job of living up to expectations. Um, basically, I mean, they... They seem to all have the same kind of format for the book. So you get like this little glimpse at the beginning where you get insight into their real life um, before they die. And then it flips over to after they've been remade and then the story progresses through it there. In each book, you get taken into the life of a different character. These characters then cross over and get revealed more about them through the stories of the other characters in the other books later on in the series. I hope that made sense. Um, anyway, in this one, this is Home Perilous Home. This one's written by Carrie Harris. Again, that's the, that's the cover there. Um, in this one, you got... I'm terrible at pronouncing names. Nevi. I, I have no idea if I'm pronouncing the name right for that. N-E-V-A-E-H. Anyway, that aside, um, basically in her, her real life, she is um, very ill. Okay. And so she's basically, she's growing up in a hospital bed. Um, not so great. So, for her, when she discovers this kind of afterlife that's being remade and things, it's amazing because she she finally has a healthy body um, in which to live. Um, so that element of it was pretty cool as well. And also, I liked, um, this one did a much better job of revealing things about the characters and the storyline as well and setting up future storylines which I'm going to be curious to see if how they unfold in the the other books as well which was something that the first book was lacking in the series so anyway based on this book which is book three again I did not read book two I read book one and skipped straight over to this one which is book three um I feel I probably should read book two to make sure I fill in some gaps and things because the story has gone ahead, okay? Um, not so much that you couldn't read this one 
without having read the the other one um but to keep the whole thing and the characters developing and everything and the whole situation um i'm probably going to go read book two now so this book's convinced me to read book two whereas book one didn't okay so the series does improve it does get better i'm going to give this one um a four star this one gets a four star um because basically it's um regained my faith in the series and made me want to read the other books um to see what happens to the characters and um this one was it was very well written and you do get a lot more insight into the characters and storyline and everything else um it didn't have those moments of confusion um that the first book had and things as well so anyway that is it um have you read any of the books in the remade series um what did you think of them as well if you have read book two then please fill me in in the comments um just a brief thing about uh, what character um that one actually centers on and um yeah that would be great and um that's it i still i still think that this should be made into some kind of tv series kind of thing because i think that it would actually work really really well for that so um mr serial box publisher get on the movie rights and everything for that because that i think i think this may actually work better as some kind of tv series um i think it would actually be one of those cases where it will be better than the book um because i think it would help eliminate any of those confusion things and maybe portray it but i don't know i don't, I don't know this series has me like oh my god do i like it do i not like it do what is got i yeah uh, it's one of those but like you have to read it so that you can be sure of like how much you like it if you don't like it if you do like it if you really like it because there's moments where it like goes through the whole thing so anyway i'm rambling so i'm going to stop right now that's it thanks for watching and um, if you've liked this video then please give it a like and don't forget to click the subscribe button as well so you don't miss out on new uploads because i'm now at least for the moment i'm down to reduced meds so um i'm getting back into the videos and everything um on the bend so hopefully normal programming will resume now and i've got to catch up with all the book reviews and tags and everything else that i've missed out on over the past couple of weeks um so anyway that's it i will see you next time bye